everyone, welcome back to another Next Gamer episode. Today, I have four LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens LEGO sets. And I showcased it all right here, as you probably, probably already know. I am going to review another LEGO set probably actually tomorrow. Or if I, if I can, if I won't forget. Gotta remind me, people, it's your job. So I just came out for playing the demo. You guys can check it out it's in the description, but it's gonna be there probably next to it. So as you can see, these are like four like I said, like battle packs, everything each side. So we're gonna take a look at them and see what we have. So the first one is the resistance speeder. This set is actually kind of cool for getting an um, exclusive minifigure. Known as the officer. I did lose somebody. I'm sorry, but I have no idea how. This set comes with the officer and two resistant troopers. One in the driver's seat. And the this one. Now the thing about the resistant troopers is that you could take off the helmet. And it has a normal nice has a normal nice face. That's, oh, that's really cool about it. And the helmet is like this size, but you could open it up like this and put it on this guy. That's pretty sweet. Something is going on. Um, yeah, it looks nice, right? It looks awesome. I kind of like these guys. They're really cool. Um, now I'm going to take a look at the speeder. Don't mind my face. Um, so here we got the speeder. It's it's not that much, but the only thing you really do is just shoot this. I don't want to actually do it. But I mean, I don't want to lose the bullet. So, that's it. Let's move on to the next one. Actually, let's move on to the next two, or next, yeah, next two, next two. So here we got the Battle Attack Dome and the First Order Battle Pack. These are awesome. Actually, I have to admit with the First Order Battle Pack, you also get another exclusive minifigure, and that is the Heavy First Order Stormtrooper. They don't really say it, but he's actually a heavy, judged by the uniform. And awesome blasters he has are heavy in the movie itself. But I mean, it's just in the video game. He's not that crazy dude with a heavy blaster. I was actually, this guy, this guy, I'm going to kill you. But I mean, this guy is just a normal first or sword trooper. Just the, um, just the body play is just cool. That's all. There's the back of him. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, now the battle of Tycho Dawn comes with Finn. Kyle Ren, First Order Stormtroopers, and um, Moss. I think her name is Moss. So let's just review this battle type of Dawn because I'm really looking forward for it. Let's look at that. This move on it. So I'm just gonna spread it out here. I want to just go a little bit closer in that. Figures. Okay, now. What's going on? You'll see me in this one. So this part is actually pretty an awesome set, as you probably see right here in front of you. This is actually awesome. It may not look much, but actually there are five action parts to this like I said. We have the doors coming if you it's in back here, two little Lego pieces. Open up. Whoosh. Whoosh. Now watch out, this is in these Lego unusual pieces. Oh. <laughs> Not much. They don't really work that well, but I mean they're supposed to be a lot big explosion. Now um demonstration here is our noob of demonstration. Yay! Alright, we all see it. 
So one other cool part is that the walls, these walls may not look much. I mean, look, they're just ordinary walls. Put the noob right there, is they going to do anything? Oh my gosh! Oh, that's such a kind of cool. Um, the walls come down from this like weird little dating right here that spins and you just come down because they're weak. Them back. It's actually easy to put these guys back, which is the best part about it. You don't have to worry about it. Hey, noob. I'm going to show another noob. Demonstrationer. See, it's an ordinary tree, right? But with this weird black thing. Ah, just put it together. Phew! <laughs> yeah, that's actually kind of cool, right? The tree timbers down. Timber. Oh, no. Um, so one other uh, but you can get is the grab. I don't know what this is called. I call it gravity hammer, but you can call it something else. Um, uh, I mean, you can call it by the real name. It's actually a person or sorcerer with this awesome thing. It's supposed to be dual with Finn, so this is a specific character. None other guys. A specific character. Uh, that's another cool part. And then I'm just gonna leave the tree off this maybe. And now let's look at the first order bow pack and the first rest of the first order. I just knocked over a resistant trooper because look at here, everybody! It's a um awesome battle bags and everything, everything. So, um, a guy you could collect is his first order gunner. His face is just like the resistance soldier's face. Pretty much nothing to see there. Um, the turnit is also kind of have more detail than the, uh, as you can see, if you go open these two sides up, so one and two, I don't know what this is supposed to be. I guess ammo or red or green. I don't know what you call it. Mm. I bet ammo because, um, and a first order officer comes with it, and another first order storage trooper. We're good. We're good. Okay. Um, this guy's actually the um. So I um, think this guy is actually pretty different compared to the other first order officers, because he's more black and he's not gray. I don't know why they did that. I mean, they had a nice detailed first order officer, and then they have this guy. Kidding me, people? This guy? This guy? Out of all the minifigures? This guy? This guy? This guy. I, I can't believe this guy. I mean, he's really, really boring. And now, let's review the biggest and baddest Leo set of all. Everybody, I have it. I have the first order transport. Say what? Um, this is an amazing set and only set where you can get cop the fastball. Cop the fastball. The only thing I'm actually disappointed of this set, it's not like the set itself, it's actually kind of fast one because she's this is actually a girl, and look what Lego did. They ruined her. They actually ruined her. I kind of feel bad for Captain Phasma. Whoever played her. This is what she gets. A blank face. Lego. Very disappointed. They should remake Captain Phasma. Um, also another Fikery Gillette is the Flange Bird. He looks so sweet. Nice backpack. I kind of like that. And the flame gun. It's just like a normal blaster rifle except with this white thing, which makes it a little bit nicer. Normal face, as usual. And now the transport set also it comes with two exclusive resistance troopers. Male and female. See? Oh, the girl has two faces, a nice face, and a not really so good face. 
Uh, I'm going to give our sets to add to the collection. So, um, over here. Not, I think I'm not going to look at the past one. My bad. Um, over here, you see a guy over here manning these awesome blasters. The action part is you go do this. Um, these are the shoes, Miss Pew. And these also, shoot. Duh. Ugh. I'm gonna send over that one. I'm gonna be right back. Oh. Alright, just be low. Um, I just became a brown belt at my karate, and I got this Lego set. It's really $90 right now. I think it used to be, like, 50 60 I don't know. This came out for Friday. I kind of understand, I don't understand what these days are supposed to be, like, generators. But, I mean, you can do this, and sometimes you can open a hatch and just let out the guy. But you can see it has, like, a has like some sort of moving chair that goes up and down, up and down. I kind of really like that. That's actually kind of cool. So it goes like, it's actually a tap formation, echo three, or tap formation under. Only a noob would just be like this. Only a pro would be like this. Now I have another stone trooper in here. He's next, right? This is coming to set. It comes with two flame doors and two stone troopers that cap the fast one of those doors. This is. So I just put a, a guy here. I don't know why I just wanted to. Here he is. I got one first source store trooper for Comic Con. And remember that episode? Yes, Comic Con. I went to Comic Con and I got one of these first source store troopers because that's and I got a nerf in. Um, and now the best part. So I'm just gonna do something. Like Never mind. Hang on a second. Uh, I don't want you to look. Uh, also, it's easier to do this because on the back, you can see some invisible wheels that it's easier to move. Now, comes the great part. There's some sort of little white thing in here. Then you can do this. Deploy the troopers! First order! Boom! Just like in the movie. Now listen. What happens if you left a guy in here and you can never get him out? That is easy. Just open this lid, all the nice blasters, and you can see two first order star troopers. You, they really supposed to go down the hat. It's a flame door and another first order star trooper. You go down the hatch, and they have been deployed. Serve, serve my minions. Serve, serve for the first order. I kind of like this part because it's the Lego set itself. It just really looks like from the movie. I kind of like the way they did that. The only thing that wasn't really in the movie is all these awesome blasters. Hats. But we never really got to see that transfers or not cheat. So you never know. Lego has many secrets to discover. So yeah, everybody, this is the whole LEGO Star Wars Force Awakens collection. I will be getting more sets to add in this amazing collection because already I already have an amazing collection. I will review some micro figures, maybe. I have no idea, but thanks for watching, everybody. 
If you did enjoy, then maybe you can choose a side. Everybody, this is the time. Please comment down below which side you want to choose on. Um, you have to choose between the light and the dark. Which side will you be on? Will you be on the first sword? Or will you be on the awesome resistance? Please leave a comment below and I'll see y'all next time. Yee, bye.